Once again, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Ziggy Away, and I'm coming to you once again this evening from Cape Town on our Wow Wednesday show. And I'm just so super excited. Today, we decided to take a topic slightly different from the trail we have been going on, because this topic is something that really borders on everything that we have in life, whether it be your health, whether it be your skin, whether it be your business, whether it be your, 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 your um, you know, ambition, whatever it is you want to achieve in life, all starts with what a goal. So how many of us on this call have ever set goals for what we want, or we just live the day by the day? If you've ever set goals for yourself, I want you to put a one on the chat box or you give me a hard thumbs up. If you've ever set goals or you just take the days as it comes and just move as it comes. So let's see if you have, oh, beautiful. We have someone typing a one. If you've ever set goals, fantastic. We have a lot of people typing a one showing that they have set goals. So you can see this is so important. And if we do, do we know the reasons behind the goals that we set? Or oh, we just set goals but we really don't know the reasons behind it. So if you know the reasons behind the goals that you set, type us a two on the chat box as well. Let's have a two on the chat box. If you know the reasons behind your goals, I want us to type a two. And then how many of you have set so many goals, one goal after the other? See, so I'm not getting a two. Very good, I just have one two there. So that's an area you wanna pay attention. And then how many of you have set so many goals? but you never just seem to get there. Type us a three if you have been setting many goals and you never just seem to get there. Each time you set goals, set goals, set goals, but you know, you just never seem to get there. If you are in that category, I want you to type a three for us. Let's know what our audience, you know, where they are and, you know, in terms of our topic this evening. So I'm not getting a three, which means all the goals you've set, you already, have achieved and conquered, is that what we're saying? It's important to participate because you're then going to be able to draw as much as possible this evening. So anyway, this evening, our very important topic, fantastic, we get a three there. So we do have people who have set goals, but never seem to get there. Yeah, the threes are coming. My dear, we all fall into that category sometimes. Good job, Bob, exactly what I was gonna say. So we do have, sometimes we set goals, set goals, but we just never seem to get there. Today's topic is conquering our goals. How do we conquer our goals? And this is something that weighs on a lot of people's mind. This is something that is so important for everything, everything you do in life, whether it's your relationship, your health, your spirituality, your business, and you know, your ambitions, you name it. So today we have a very special speaker who is literally like a brother to me. And uh, he wears so many hats. He's uh, an IT professional with a master's degree and an MBA as well. But most importantly, he has, um, uh, how do I call it? He uh, He's a certified uh, coach, team coach by John C. Maxwell. If you know John C. Maxwell, you know that that is not a joke at all. And at the same time, he's a distinguished Toastmaster. So he's actually invested heavily in actually developing himself and developing others. And this topic, there was no better person to handle this topic, particularly in the critical time in which we are right now in our club called Life by Secret. So I'd like to welcome all our guests, plus our members to this uh, amazing call. And with no further ado, I'd like to welcome my very good friend and speaker. I'm so grateful to you for accepting the request to take this topic for us this evening. It's such a pleasure to have you on the call. Good evening, Mr. Henry Moyo. You're welcome. How are you today? Fine and yourself, uh, Ziggy. I mean, thank you so much uh, for having me on this call. I truly appreciate you thinking of me and being, uh, uh, being your guest on this uh, particular call tonight. Thank you so much. You're looking so handsome, so sharp. And so, I mean, your skin is radiating. Tell us the secret. <laughs> I, th I thought you already knew, you already know the secret. <laughs> well, I may know, but I, might, I don't think my viewers know why you're glittering. I mean, you're really glowing. This is beautiful. <laughs> no, thank, thank you so much. You know what? You always try to grow young and look young. And uh, if you just do the right things, you, you, you stay, you'll stay young. That's one thing I can tell you. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. 
You don't want us to know your secrets. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> what are the right things that you do to stay young? Share with us a little bit of that before we dig into our topic. Well, you know what? The one, one thing many people, they don't realize is, uh, um, you know, if you just take care of yourself, just doing the basic things, you know, we complicate a lot of things about our lives by trying to do so many complicated things, but to just do the basic things our parents told, told us to do, eat your vegetables, get your greens, you know what I'm saying? And it helps you as well to, to have a good, so many people don't realize is what you put on the inside is going to show on the, on the outside. Drink a lot of water and um, just eat your nice and proper food as well. And also exercise. And it helps you to, to, to stay young and, uh, and, and be young as well. And hey, there's so many things I can end up start lecturing uh, Ziggy about so many things. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm so happy with those. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> I love the tidbit. So we just wanted to dig in a little. I mean, you are looking so sharp this evening. I'm just so excited. So I'm so happy with that. Thanks for that sharing. And uh, right away, I'm just going to hand over to you because I know that you have prepared something amazing for us this evening. And of course, we will then come back to ask questions. But before you go, I had told the guests to share their thoughts that hit them when they saw the topic. And I have someone who has posted here so you can you know, have that in mind. I know you probably have covered this as well. And it says, what came to mind when this goal setting uh, topic, uh, when I saw the goal setting topic is, Setting the goal is one thing, executing them is another. So it would be good to have pointers on how to have that self-discipline to get them to fruition in the midst of all the hustle and bustle of life. This is the cardinal point of today. So thank you so much, um, uh, Monica, for sharing that with us. And I can tell you, we, the speaker we have this evening will do great justice. So all you need to do is pay attention and have your... Um, you know, something to put down notes if you need to. Thank you so much. So Mr. Moyo, over to you. And I'll be right back once you've uh, finished your presentation. Okay, thank you so much, uh, uh, Aziggy, I mean, for this. Thank so guys, you. I mean, goal, uh, a goal setting is something that's that I can tell you that it's very, very uh, simple. Very few people do it. And um, many in the majority of people do not set goals. And that's the said reality about it but many people you find that they don't or what i might say is they don't set personal goals for their own life but they've got maybe your business or professional goals but these things are being set by somebody they give you a target they give you something to work for they give you a direction to say look this is what we're doing as a company but yourself as an individual is very very important for you to set your own direction for your own Life. So I'm just going to share a few slides that I have here to say, look, uh, this is what you might need to do as well, uh, how you can conquer uh, the goals or how you can conquer your goals in life and many people, how you can get uh, uh, distracted as well. I'm not going to talk much about myself. I think Ziggy has already shared um, uh, much about myself as well. So when I was, uh, when I was young and... Um, when I was young, I'm gonna share this about it later on as well on visualization, how it really impacts you. I, when my father came back, when he was actually going to the uh, USA and studied and came back, I, was, I think I was still in my primary education and I saw some of the business cards uh, for some of his professors that at least he had. And I was looking at them and they had so many of these qualifications. You know what, I took my, old, my father's typewriter, I typed my name there. I put under it myself, under next to my name, I put BSc, and I didn't know what that BSc meant at that time, but I just saw it on somebody else. And then when I start seeing myself also as a BSc, so I, uh, when I, somebody told me that, hey, when you did that, you're already setting a goal for yourself to get, so I wrote that thing down without knowing, and years later on, I end up achieving that goal. So guys, it's very, very important for you to sit down and set your goals. So it's more like you have a vision. What is it that you want? Most of us, we know exactly what we want or we wish. Everybody wants to, to be successful. People, they told me, no, I want to be successful. But when you try to define what you mean by being successful, they don't get to the specific things that exactly define the success that they do want. And it becomes even very difficult for you to build and to achieve it when you can't define it exactly. 
So you need to be very clear about your vision. What is it that you want? What is it that you want to achieve in your life? If he's saying you want financial freedom, what does financial freedom truly mean to you? And then you sit down, now you set up your goals. So your goals are going to give you direction, how to get to your financial freedom, how to get to what you want, while you get to what maybe just want to have a, um, to, to build a house, whatever it is that you want to achieve, you start, you now have a direction of exactly where you want to go. This ensures that whenever you meet any challenges along the way, you know exactly your direction where you are going. Another thing that many people don't have is uh, that many people, they don't have what I might call your values or things that you stand for. You need to have or define your values. So your values, it's more like your rules of play, your rule of rules of engagement, your rules that are going to define you, how you respond to situations, how you deal with challenges that come your way as well. Because you're going to meet challenges along the way and you're going to meet problems along the way. How do you take your action? Are you going to say, I'm going to quit along the way, I'm going to stop along the way, or I'm going to fight until I get to the end of your, your, your achieve what exactly you want to do. So what I'm saying is, you might set on a go, on a direction to say, you know what, I want to maybe go to Cape Town. Maybe you're flying. When you get to the airport, if you see a plane going to Port Elizabeth, are you going to just jump onto that plane? Or if you see a plane going to Deben, are you going to jump onto that plane? This is what many people do who do not have a clear direction. They get an airport, they see a lot of opportunities, they jump onto this, they jump onto this, they jump onto this because you don't have a clear defined direction or clear values that you stand for or your plane to Cape Town might be delayed you can't just jump onto any plane so they're going to find a way how to get to it when you get challenges when you get problems you know exactly where you are going that's going to give you direction as well so sometimes when people even set their goals there is what you call um you know you need to leverage on the 80-20 Pareto uh, rule. What it means is you find that 20% of your time is going to produce 80% of your results or 20% of your effort is going to produce 80% of the results. So amongst your goals, let's say you've got 10 goals, identify the two goals. That's your 20%. That are going to give you about 80% of the result. To say, if I focus on these two goals, they're going to give you the most significant results. Then you focus on those goals and you put in your maximum effort to achieve those, um, those goals that you have set up as well. So you find that a lot of people, they become so busy. They get so busy. At the end of the day, what have you achieved? Nothing. Because you are sometimes working on those goals that give you minimum values. Attend uh, focus more on the ones that are going to give you the maximum value that it is you need as well. And also, sometimes you hear people talking about uh, long and short and uh, long and long and short, maybe long-term goals, short-term goals. You need to set long-term goals, which are maybe your three to five or so, ten years as well. And then your short-term goals, this may be three months, six months, or, or less than two years or something like that as well. So you have your long-term and your short-term goals as well. And your short-term goals must be feeding onto your long-term goals. As you achieve your short-term goals, you're already achieving your, your long-term goals. You need to align uh, uh, these things as well. So it's very, very important for you to start thinking long-term. I know sometimes when you're in a very difficult situation, it's very difficult for you to think long-term. You want something now, 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 that's gonna get you out of the situation. And sometimes this is where people make uh, big mistakes as well, where you now make um, long-term decisions based on short-term situations. So you really need to think long-term and understand what is it that you're building? How long does it take for you to achieve what you want? Don't be a short-term 
gain person somebody just want to be to 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 gain your 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 glory or your gratification in, in a very short period of time everything has got a price to pay how big is your goal how big is it so so how big it is and it means you're gonna require at least bigger and more effort for you to achieve it so it depends on what you want to to achieve as well and also have your shit term objectives as well so you can't also go on a very long stretch without achieving something in long in shorter period of time as well so you know that i want to achieve this but put it break it down into short term uh, goals or short term objectives you want to celebrate those things as well you want to have fun and feel as you, that you're winning you can't wait for only five years to celebrate something at least first year have something to celebrate to say hey Maybe we've passed on phase one, we've passed on phase two, we've passed on phase three. You can't wait to only get to the end of your term. So have this short term objective. That's more like your fuel to propel you towards your long term uh, 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 goal. One thing as well that uh, many people is uh, you need to set smart uh, goals or have a smart planning. What I'm sharing to you guys is most of us, we know these things, but we don't actually do it for ourselves, do it for your life and sit down and say, this is what I want for my life. Be very specific. Be very specific about what exactly do you want. We can do it in other things, but for our life, we're not very clear. We're not very specific. I ask many people, what do you want to be many people they can't tell you what exactly do you want or what type of life do you want to live or to be so you need to be very specific it's like you're building your life it's like you're building a house if you're building a house you can't just say ah whatever rooms i have um doesn't matter whatever it is you know you need to be very specific to say i want a house with three ten rooms five bedrooms how many four meters by whatever you need to be very specific to everything you can't just build it without being very specific what type of windows do you want how many stories do you want how many, what type of roof do you want the, everything is clearly defined you know exactly where to place it what to do what to do the same applies for your life and also it's something that should be measurable you should be able to measure to say hey, okay we were here now we've moved here we were there this is what we have uh, done as well and something that should be attainable and also relevant or realistic and also time bound have a time frame to say i want to achieve this by this particular moment so how many of you have noticed that when you have a deadline when someone gives you a deadline you perform differently when you have a deadline you perform completely a, a different when you have a deadline so give yourself a deadline it doesn't matter if you don't if you do not meet but uh, that deadline but i can tell you right now you will have achieved more and you can actually set another deadline to say okay we did not meet our deadline now we are shifting to this particular day but do not sh keep on shifting what i can say to you is instead of you shifting the deadline shift your activities increase your activities increase your productivity and make sure that you meet the deadline that at least you have set for yourself. Do whatever it takes to meet the deadline that you have set. You see that your production and your productivity is gonna it's gonna change. Is that something that you just change in your mind? And uh, you'll be surprised, and you start celebrating yourself as well what you have done as well. So it's also very very important for you to visualize your goals. What is it that you want? visualize it take some time to 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 visualize maybe every day visualize your goals see yourself achieving what does it mean for you attaining these goals what does it mean for you achieving uh, uh, these goals uh, in your life so you need to visualize feel it and i know sometimes many people don't understand the power of visualization in the brain how this uh, uh, works for you as well so i this is something that I, I do myself sometimes as well so i want you guys to to try this let me see if we can we can uh if i can get you guys to see me a bit more clearer here 
Um, let me see. Um, let me try to put on. Um, if um, okay, so so I want you to, if you can stand up, right? I want you to stand up. If you can stand up, I want you to try something. If you can stand up wherever you are, and um, so I want you to stand up. You stretch out your hands, stretch yourself out like that. You stretch your hands out. Then whilst you're facing one direction, you start turning, 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 turning without moving your legs. So you turn and stretch until you've done your best and mark the point where you think this is the best position. You have stretched yourself. I want you to do that. I want you to do that. Stretch yourself. Just stand in one position and stretch yourself with your hand, I want you to mark to say, look, I've turned maybe 270 degrees or two, 180 degrees or whatever. Stretch yourself until you've gone up to the end to say, look, I've stretched, truly, truly stretched myself without, don't move your legs. But I just want you to swing around and turn until you have pointed the furthest you can point. If you have done that, I know you have marked your place. That at least you've done and uh, you've marked it. and. Um, just, just, just mark that position. Okay, so, so now I want you to close your eyes uh, quickly and I want you to imagine this. I want you to just imagine, imagine you now doing this. I'll close your eyes. If you can hear me, just close your eyes for a moment and I want you to see this is what's happening right now. Now you're doing this. You are turning and you've reached the point that at least you reached before when you started doing this. But we, I don't know what happened to you. You kept on turning again, you've passed that point. Can you see yourself passing that point? Can you see yourself doing a complete 360 degrees? I don't know what happened on your west here. Something just happened. Now you're going for the second time you are turning again for the second time. I don't know what's happening here on your waist. You keep on swinging, you know, continuously like a clock that's moving hour after hour. You keep on going. Nothing is stopping you. You have, you have just become unstoppable. So now I want you to open your eyes and I want you to do the same thing again. I want you to, to stand facing where you are and I want you to turn and see how far you go right now. Just see how far you can go right now. So if you have, okay, if you, I think all of you have done it. If you've done it, I want you to give me an answer. If you've gone further than what you did earlier on before, I want you to give me, give me, give me, give me a three in the chat box today. Just give me a three on the chat box. If you have gone further than what you did before, I want you to give me a three. I can see people here giving a three. Uh, oh yeah, Herbert went further, Anissa, uh, Elena went further. You went further than what you did before. Kezia, you went further. You see, okay, Howard, she went further. You, there's Dr. Lucy, she went further again. So, so I wanna, I wanna ask you to, to, a lot of you guys are saying you went further than what you did the first time. Right, you went further than what you did the first time. I mean, guys, I, don't, I did not do any, any magic or anything for you to go further than what you did. This is what most of us do when we set the goals that we do for, the, for ourselves. We don't imagine enough. We don't see. So this is this power that when you start visualizing, this is why they say dream big. That's the power of it. Your brain is so powerful. Your brain has got unlimited uh, a power that at least we underutilize ourselves. I mean, just imagine this simple exercise that I've just done with you here, it just helped you go further. Just, just uh, initially you're saying, no, I've done my best. I've stretched myself, but without you, but just imagining you went and gone further than that. So guys, this is quite, um, interesting use that is what I use it and uh, to, to visualize. So collect your thoughts and sit down and say, hey, what is it that I want for my life? What kind of relationships do I want? What kind of uh, maybe 
financial or career that I do want. You define your life. Don't, don't define your life based on somebody else. Don't define your life maybe based on me. Don't define your life based on Ziggy. Define your life, what exactly you want. Write it down. Have your clear thoughts on what you really want to, to achieve. And uh, this is something that I did about almost 10 years ago. And um, I was saying I want to go on holiday. I want to travel. I hadn't been on, on, on holidays. You see, this one I actually updated it later on when I went on, on, on a holiday. But initially, I took pictures of other people from uh, magazines. I said, you know what? I want to keep calm and talk to God no matter what situation I am in. I want to keep calm and trust and put my life in God. These are the things that I was just saying. I'm saying I want to be a world leader, speaker, and trainer. If I tell you my story, I once tried to speak to front of people and at school and I, nothing came out of my mouth. Nothing came out. But now here I am telling, I want to see myself. I was looking here at Obama's uh, picture as well saying, you know what? I want to be a great leader like this gentleman. I want to be a leader. I want, I want to be courageous. You know, and uh, I was saying, I want to there's so many things that I was saying I want to be. I want to be. I got some pictures of some of these things that I want to be. And um, this was one uh, last um, last year when I was actually in, uh, in uh, this. I was actually in ICU. And I said, I want to keep calm and talk to God. This is thing that I put up and say, you know what? I want to travel, have fun and do this. When I was putting those things, People will say this guy is crazy, but now I've been to so many different uh, uh, places. I said, I want to be a trainer speaker. When I say that, I hadn't been to any place or to any country or talking in front of people, but I started talking to thousands of people going to different countries. There was in, um, this was in, 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 in Bali, in Indonesia, where I was actually training some people there, being one of the panelists in training. And these are things that started happening to me and started happening. These are things that I visualized. And, and these are things, I started getting some of these now uh, uh, qualifications and everything, but these are, these are the goals that I actually set up and started visualizing and say, hey, I wanna achieve this. I want this to happen for me. So what I'm saying is visualize, have a clear, picture about exactly what you want. Do not be embarrassed to say, oh no, maybe other people will see me and think that I'm too crazy, I'm too ambitious, whatever. If you feel like that, do it in your own bedroom and everything, but know exactly what you want. And there's nothing for you to be afraid or to be ashamed of everything as well. So create visibility, make yourself accountable, have an accountability partner, have somebody who can ask you, or whom you say, hey, how far are you with your goals? How far are you with this? How far are you with what you're doing ex exactly? Have people who can help you to achieve that and have clear clarity on the goals that you do have for, your, for yourself. And also get into the rhythm. So most of the time is people start things and, they, and when they hit a, a brick wall or they hit something, they change or they lose the energy, or they lose the, the focus. Say, ah, no, this is difficult. I've tried this for so many periods. You know what? If you are doing something for life, I'm doing certain things for life. And if I'm doing something for life, I know I'm going to hit a lot of hurdles. I'm going to go through so many different seasons. I can't just change my course and change my direction because of some hurdles that you do first as well. So get into the rhythm. Know that at least you've passed one step you are now going on to the next step. You are going on to the set next step. You are going on to the third step. One thing you must understand, if you try to run through these steps, definitely, you know, by the time you get to the top, you are tired, you are finished. You need to re-energize, go up and go to the next one. Now you must know that what took you from the first step is not the same energy, same strategy that's going to take you to the next step. You need to know, now I've moved to the next step. What do I need in this particular step? Re-strategize at that level, get to regain your energy and move on to the next one and to the next one and maintain that rhythm and that focus. You'll be surprised how it is going to be. Because most of the time you want to get to the top. 
everybody wants to just come and get here to the top here, but uh, you are not enjoying the, all the different steps that you have. Focus on the next step and focus on the next step and focus on the next step without knowing it, you find yourself, you're already at the top. So align with your goals. So most of the time is you find that uh, certain things that you do in your life, they're not aligned with your goals. They're not aligned with the things that you do value. Even it's, these are other challenges. Well, I think for so many people, uh, especially to work, you find that your organization is its own goals. You are trying to do certain things that are not in alignment with what you truly want to achieve in your personal life as well. So many people end up having a burnout. Many people end up not enjoying so many things that they don't want to do. What you need to do is align your goals with what you want to do as well. I used to do that as well. I realized, okay, I work late, I do this. So I had to find time to align, to say, look, this is what I'm gonna do in this particular time, in this particular time as well. So whilst I'm doing my work, I'm also doing something that's in alignment with my personal goals. So try to align this even with your family and your loved ones so that when they do certain things, they're also in alignment with what you're doing as well. So when you're just living your life, you're also doing something towards your, your goals as well. This is something that I cannot, uh, which kills so many people, consistency pays off. Consistency pays off. So you need to be consistent in what you want to do and what you want to achieve. So most of the time, we only want to do something when we are winning. I just want to tell you right now, everything you, you are doing, everything that you want to focus on, every goal that you have, there are moments you'll be winning, there are moments you'll be losing, or there are moments you feel you're not achieving what you want to achieve. That's part of the game. Just know it right now to say, you need to go through all those moments. You need to go through your highs, you need to go through your, your lows, but you need to be consistent in doing what you need to do every day towards movement of towards achieving your goals. So be consistent. I cannot overemphasize on this one. There are times when you think nothing is happening. There might be no results physically, but there are certain results that are happening to you emotionally, mentally. You need to go through the whole process so that you become the person that is uh, consistent with the goals that you want to be. So there is a more pro process that you need to go through that changes you mentally, emotionally. So sometimes when you're going through that transformation, you might not see physical results that you yourself are expecting and you end up losing your hope and you end up being discouraged. So just know that, hey, sometimes God is working on your emotions. God is working on you mentally. Whatever those challenges are, look at ways of going over them and look at ways, what is the learning point here? Don't be a leader, don't be a person who throws his toys when challenges are being thrown at you. I mean, I've gone through a lot of myself, a lot of challenges, a lot of adversities. Some of you know my story. Some of you know the situation that I've gone through. But some of you are surprised to say you remained calm and focused because you gone, I've gone through it several times. Now I've developed the mental capacity to deal with any challenge that's being thrown at me without throwing my toys and being too emotional as well. So guys, have a clear roadmap. Uh, for your goal, what you might call your goal roadmap. What exactly do you need to do and what do you need to achieve as well? And please, when you set up this thing, you need to have a timeout. You need to have time to rest. You need to incorporate everything as part of your, your goal roadmap. It mustn't just be work, 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 work. You need that timeout to rest. You need that timeout to, to learn, you need that time out to improve yourself. You need also the time to develop and grow yourself. So many people, they end up not um, achieving certain things in life or certain things that they want to, to do because many people stopped learning and developing themselves the moment they finished school. So if you're that person, I'm telling you right now, tomorrow, not any other day or tonight, go on the internet and buy 
most of these self-help books. Just buy any book and start reading and start developing yourself. There are so many books you can get out there and read to develop yourself. Never, ever stop improving yourself. But the moment you settle, it affects your performance. It affects your productivity. The moment you settle wherever you are, it affects your productivity. It affects you. Because now what's going to give joy is the results that you bring in. But if you keep on improving yourself, you start doing other new things and achieving new things at a different uh, level. So it's very, very important for you to keep on developing and improving and continuously developing yourself. You become a completely different uh, uh, person as well. So those are things that at least I would say you need to do and measure the different milestones along your way as well. So you can't just say, you know what, I want to be, I mean, uh, I see so many people, they tell me they want to achieve this rank, they want to achieve this, or they want to do this, but they don't have any different milestones along the way before you hit whatever that rank that you want to achieve or before you achieve that goal that you want to achieve what are the things that at least you need to achieve along the way what are the other smaller ranks that you might need to achieve along the way what are the things that at least you can celebrate and be happy and be great about it along the way as well this is a very important thing uh, guys i can just highlight to you when you say stay open to change there is change that comes because you bring it yourself, and there is change that is forced on you. There is change that is nobody ever invites it; it just happens. Just like if you look right now, we we're just coming out of this uh, Corona pandemic. I don't know if anybody, any one of us, invited it or said, "Yeah, I want Corona. I want all these uh, things that has been happening." There were so many things that affect your plans your activity that you want to. So you need to just go back to your drawing board and see how you can incorporate this change. And, and uh, the change, it can be good, it can be bad. So you need to know how to deal with it and go back to your drawing board. So some of the people, it might mean abandoning what you're doing. Some of the people, it might mean, uh -uh, my journey still continues. Yes, we had a car accident. Our car is damaged. If maybe go us go back to the drawing board. Maybe we need to hire another car for us to to continue, or maybe you might not have the money to continue with your journey. Maybe you might need to go back and start saving and start again your journey, or your journey will be delayed. So being delayed does not mean denied. So accept challenges. Accept that you might need to change your course of uh, action as well, and also embrace your failures and learn from your failures. So learn from the failures. So embrace, embrace your failures. Actually, most of us who just want to succeed and we think failure is bad. No, learn from the failures and fail forward. I mean, look at it, even a child, each time when a child was trying to stand up and to walk, we keep on encouraging them. No, keep on doing it. And when they manage to stand up, we all celebrate. That's what you must do for yourself. You know that you're gonna fall so many times. You're gonna fall, you're gonna fall, you're gonna fall, you're gonna fall. There will be that one moment you're gonna stand up. Nobody will ever remember how many times you fell. How many times, how many of you still remember how many times you fell before you could walk and how painful it was. None of us still remember that, but everyone fell before they could stand up or walk. It was a child and learning. It's the same thing, you're gonna fall. You're going to fall, you're going to fall, you're going to fall. But all you need to do is you know that you need to come up again. You can come up again. You can come up again. No matter how many times you fall, you can still come up again. So don't fall and not come up again. Embrace your failures as part of life. Create time to celebrate your success. Celebrate it. So don't compare your success to celebrate than with somebody else's success. Don't compare how other people celebrate their success and how you're going to celebrate your success. You run in your own race. Maybe for you to celebrate, it might be just you going to McDonald's or, or, or just going uh, to KFC or going to a restaurant and have a, a meal there. Or for somebody, it might be maybe just taking a flight or going on a holiday, whatever it is, or maybe just buying yourself something. Whatever it is, 
Just celebrate your success. Don't worry about how others celebrate. It's your success and it's your life. You do what you can do for yourself that makes you happy. That's what's key and that's what's more important as well. So guys, there's so many other channels you can actually read. And if you Google onto the internet or you can find so many books that you can actually uh, read on, uh, on goal setting. There are so many uh, stories you can actually get there as well on, um, on, on, on goal setting and what you can actually do to achieve and never to, to give up as well. There's so many things you can actually read. I'll encourage you. I don't want to be very specific for anybody because people are in different uh, situations, different scenarios, but I can tell you right now, if you go onto, onto YouTube, there are so many free resources that at least you can actually uh, get as well. And uh, if you want, I've got a free email series that I always give to people, which you get maybe once a week, you get some emails, which can help you to go through, teaches you so many things about goal setting. You can actually subscribe to, to this um, uh, goal setting uh, emails as well that I, I do provide as well. You can just uh, take this screenshot and uh, send an email onto, onto this as well. So there's so many things that at least I also do to help other people as well. This is one of the courses that I do, which is uh, put your dream to the test. This helps you to, to understand, to say, look, I've got a, I've got a dream. And um, is this really true, my dream? Am I ready for it? Or I'm just uh, truly, truly dreaming and I'm going nowhere. And are you going to make your dream a reality? So I've got a course that's starting up actually in, uh, in April. I want to do this actually in person. And then if I don't manage to get a nice venue for me to do this in person, I might end up just doing it online and to communicate to all the people that have actually registered. I'm actually doing this course for, for it's a five um, week, what do you call it? It's a, we do it over a five week period, just one day per week over in one hour, 30 minutes, one hour online or in, in person and just help you go through it and what materials that at least we give you also on this uh, on this course. I'm just offering this, uh, whoever registers today, you're gonna just register this uh, actually for, for, for free. And I'm not gonna charge anybody for this one as well. And I've got this one that I'm doing right now with other leaders as well, where it says develop the leader within you. Many people, they don't realize that they are leaders. Many people, they don't. Everyone who's on this call, you're a leader in different situation, one way or another, you are a leader. You might be a subordinate at your workplace. Your workplace does not define you, does not define your life. But maybe you are a husband to somebody, you are a leader. You are a wife to somebody, you are a leader. You are a mother, you are a leader. So you find that each one of us in different situation, you are a brother, you are a sister, you are a leader. There's somebody in life who looks up to you. There's somebody in life whom you are leading, if you're not aware of it, just know it from today, that there are so many people who are looking up to you. You need to develop yourself to become the best version of yourself and become that leader. So many people, we want so many things to change, but we don't change ourselves. We don't be make ourselves become the best people ourselves. Go and buy this book, read this book. I'm telling you, you're going to become a completely different person. Don't just read it as an academic exercise. Read it to make yourself a better person. Apply and implement what you do uh, learn in this, uh, in this, uh, in this, uh, in this exercises. So well, this is some of the things that I hope you guys you find value from what I've just uh, shared uh, with you. Write down your goals, take action. That's all you need to do take action and stay focused on what you want to achieve. Do not change direction because you have hit a brick wall. Find a way to go through it, over it, under it, destroy it, whatever way, up until you get to your, to your goals and to your dreams that at least you do have to. So you're gonna meet hurdles. There's no way you're gonna achieve without meeting any uh, challenges as well. So what I can say is don't give up, keep on going. But the most important thing is, make a commitment right now, write down what you want. Just write it down. I've got my goals here written down. Each time I look at them and say, okay, uh-oh, I need to do one, two, three, four, five for me to achieve this. These are my daily things that I need to do. Have I done them? If I don't do them, I know exactly I'm gonna shortfall 
on winning my long-term goals. So just put it down, break it down backwards to say, okay, maybe every hour or within an hour I must do A, B, C, D, E. So be able to do that for yourself. Right, Ziggy, I hope you are still there. You are still around. You are still on the call. And um, let's see if uh, Ziggy is still here on the call. I hope uh, I see Ziggy. She, 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 I know she was facing some lead, load uh, shedding uh, uh, challenges. And um, so I don't know if, what if, if guys, if you got any, any questions or anything that you truly want, uh, let me just check here onto the, onto, the, um, onto the chat. If you guys have got any questions or anything that you want to ask, or if you want anything as well, and I think I've lost uh, a Ziggy on, on the call. And um, and I hope you found um, you find value in this uh, exercise. So do not just wait to set goals for your company. Be able to set goals for yourself. Treat yourself as a company. Treat yourself as a company. I wrote myself. I think some of you have seen me even on my WhatsApp. I started saying, "Hey, Henry Moyo Consulting, Private Limited," because I wanted to think myself as a company and start doing certain things and operating like a company and um, to say, look, my life and, and have all those things in actual uh, uh, place as well. So do the same for yourself. Become the CEO of yourself. Conduct your life like the CEO of a company. You will see a big change in your, in your life and as well to say, look, I'm the CEO of my life. What have I done for my life? What's gonna happen to my life? What value is my life? What are the returns for my life? All those things that at least companies do, do the same for your life. Maybe your returns is just happiness and joy with your kids and your loved ones. That's what you want. Maybe it's just providing the, your, your kids and your family um, everything that at least they just want. Maybe that's what you just want, creating peace of mind for yourself and for your family. That's what you want. Those are, those are your returns. Those are your profits. So do that. I'm telling you guys, you will live, you will live a happy life when you focus on yourself and when you don't compete with anybody, but you compete with yourself. Just compete with yourself. You're the best person to compete with because you're in the same environment with the person that you're competing with. I can't compete with, uh, uh, whom can I see? Whom I, see? I can't compete with Rose. Me and Rose were in the same, were in different in environments. Well, I can't compete with Tevoko. Me and Tevoko were in different in my environments. I can't compete with Tumi, but Tumi can inspire me to say, hey, Henry, I'm not doing enough. Or maybe I need to step up. I need to do that. But I compete with myself because myself, I'm in the same environment, same resources, same things. But if I produced two yesterday, my, I must produce three or four the next day. That's the best competition you can do for yourself. But if you try to compete with others, do it in a healthy way, in a healthy environment. Yes, it helps you to give you a guidelines. If I'm producing two and Tobago is producing 10, I must also ask myself, why is it I'm producing two and not 10? So if from my two, I must move on to three. I must not say I'm gonna beat Tevoko, but I must move three to four and so on and, uh, and keep on uh, improving yourself as well. So guys, I'm not too sure what happened to my host. I hope she's back on the call and on the line. Uh, Ziggy, are you back on the call? Oh, sorry. Let me see here. I think um, I see what has happened to Ziggy. She had lost her, her rights to be a host. Okay, when she got disconnected. Hi, Ziggy, are you back now? I think you have made you host for the call. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see here. Right, let's see if we can. Um... All right, I think she's able to unmute herself or... 
All right. I think um, I think Ziggy is having some few network uh, challenges. I don't know if. Um, let me just see some questions here on the chat. If there's anything, I think everybody are able to unmute yourself now. If you wanna unmute. Uh, okay, okay. I can see some. You can unmute yourselves, and uh, if there's any question that at least you wanted or any comment that you wanted, I'm not sure whether the host. Uh, let me just try to get hold of here, and then at least I'll end this call. Okay, let me just see what I can um, quickly do here. I just got a message here. She's just having some few uh, network challenges. So here's a good thing about you being in IT. I'm gonna try and see if I can just go to it quickly here on the call. And um, then at least we can wrap it up uh, for, for... I hope you guys, you truly found uh, a value in this and um, just go and apply some of the things that are here and that at least you have actually uh, learned. Just go and implement and you'll be surprised what you can actually uh, achieve in your, yourself, in your life. And you'll be actually surprised, especially if you're not getting the results that you want, just implement what you want, what you wanna achieve as well. So anyway, I managed to get uh, Ziggy on the call. I know she's on, uh, on load shading and this is having some few challenges with the network there. Hi, Ziggy, can you, I was about to end your call. <laughs> Yes, um, well, I don't see any questions here. They're all saying they really enjoyed the, the session. They found some valuable <laughs> nuggets. And I'm um, just seeing the comments here that people are just uh, uh, stating here as well. But uh, thank you so much, uh, Ziggy. I truly appreciate you hosting me on this show. I hope what I've shared has helped uh, so many people and uh, it's going to help them to, to achieve their goals and uh, start setting and doing things in a completely different way. Fantastic. Thank you so much. We truly appreciate you and appreciate the time you have shared with us this evening. And uh, we definitely will have you back on the call. Hopefully I will not have load shedding so I can tap in fully. I had one or two questions I was going to ask, but we will leave that for next time. Thank you so much and um, have a great evening. And thank you everyone who made the call. We also appreciate you joining us and uh, learning and growing together. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. Have a great evening. I can't wait to see you guys at the top and those who are joining us coming on to, to some of those courses. Feel free. If you, if you need any of the links, I'll definitely send you. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night.